Hey, you caught me right in the middle of mincing my garlic for today's recipe. Today I'm gonna to be making Mexican ground beef. Now this recipe is perfect for when you're making enchiladas, tacos, burritos. You can sprinkle it in your quesadillas or you can sprinkle it on top of your nachos. Now I'm gonna be coming out with a Super Bowl nacho recipe, so be sure and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video coming out. I'm Rockin' Robin. I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious Mexican ground beef right after this. So here's what we need. We need some ground beef. I've got about a pound and a half here and I'm using 100% grass fed. So I do that whenever I can just because it's healthier. We'll need some minced onions. I got very finely diced here. We have some tomato sauce. I have some minced garlic, some salt, some oregano, and some ground cumin and olive oil. And that's pretty much it. We're ready to start cooking. I have my frying pan over medium high heat. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna start off by sauteing our onions for about five minutes. So I'm just gonna cook these until they get nice and soft and a little translucent. All right, you can see here that our onions are softened up quite a bit and it's time to add our ground beef. So toss that in. I'm gonna add the salt. I'm gonna sprinkle that around. And we're gonna cook this until the hamburger is completely cooked. And you wanna break it up with your spoon or your spatula, whatever you're using. And usually for tacos, you want your hamburger to be in small little pieces, so break it accordingly. So I'm cooking this over medium high heat, and you can see that I'm just working the onions into the meat. It's gonna give it some really good flavor. All right, it looks like my ground beef is done. Guys, make sure that you cook it until you see no pink in the meat at all. You don't wanna uh, end up with one of those foodborne illnesses. It's not fun, so cook it well. And I can see that you can see in here that I have quite a bit of grease in my ground beef. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain mine off before I add the rest of my ingredients. I've drained off the grease from my uh, ground beef. I just put a lid on this pan and tipped it over into and poured it out into a cup. Now we wanna add our garlic. So I'm gonna kind of spread it around. I'm a big fan of spreading things out so that everything gets the flavor. And we're just gonna cook the garlic like this for just maybe two or three minutes. It's gonna make that garlic taste, mellow it out a little bit so it doesn't have as much of a bite to it. And it smells amazing. All right, a couple minutes have passed now. I can smell that garlic. Now it's time to add, we'll toss in the oregano. Again, I'm gonna sprinkle it around so it's evenly dispersed as much as, you know, reasonable. And the cumin. We'll stir that up a bit. And now the tomato sauce is gonna give it a little liquid. My temperature is on medium low. And if it seems really thick to you, you can always add just a little bit of water to this. Cause I wanna just simmer it for maybe five or 10 minutes just to get all the flavors together and make sure it's all heated through. So let me get a little bit of water for that. Because while we simmer this, it's going to cook back out anyway. And this will help um, emulsify or you know mix in those spices that we just added. So now we're just gonna let this simmer, like I said, for five or 10 minutes and we'll be ready to use it in you know any number of recipes that we talked about earlier. Now you can see I brought it up to a nice simmer. It looks fantastic. Uh, go ahead and give it a taste and see if you need to add some salt. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Maybe just a hint, just a little bit more salt in there. Go so adjust it to how you like it and now it's ready to use in any way you like. It's delicious. So there you have it. There's my Mexican ground beef recipe. You can use it in your tacos, burritos, enchiladas, you name it. Anyway, uh, and also I wanna leave you a couple links so you can find some other recipes like my uh, beef enchilada recipe. You can use this for that. 
I'll put a link here for the guacamole. And over here, you need the enchilada sauce. So try out those recipes, guys. Leave me comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that I'm gonna be making that Super Bowl nacho recipe coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching, and I think I'm gonna go make me some nachos right now. So we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.